Insurance business still remained Britain's key revenue earner for the year ended December 2014, accounting for 95% of the revenue at 14 billion shillings. The remaining 5% of the revenue was from banking, asset management, and property business. The firm paid out net claims totaling 8 million shillings compared to 4.9 million shillings recorded in the previous year. This was a 64% increase. Recognizing also that we do have to operate even in the less profitable market, markets, but to the level at which um, we, our risk tolerance um, is actually um, met. Of the insurance revenue, Kenya contributed 84%, while regional business accounted for just 11%, of this at 1.6 billion shillings. In the coming year we expect those revenues to grow because these are very rapidly growing markets and we can expect to see not less than 2 billion shillings in the coming year. Profit after tax went up 23% from 2.3 billion shillings to 2.8 billion shillings. This was due to the company's regional expansion strategy and product diversification. The company spent 2.8 billion shillings last year to acquire additional stakes in mortgage lender housing finance, increasing its stake to 46%. The company spent 1.3 billion shillings for acquisition of real insurance and 300 million shillings for a 25% stake in Econ Group. Business in Rwanda and Tanzania are yet to break even, as Group Chief Executive Benson Wairegi remains confident of a better performance in the year. Rwanda is not broken even yet because this is its first year of operation. And I can tell you, we don't expect Rwanda to break even, even 2015. But our projection is Rwanda will make money in 2016. The firm has proposed to pay 30 cents per share in dividends. Ronald Willie, News Our Business.